First runner up is California, the new Miss USA is North Carolina! like it just happened yesterday. I mean, I, I can still go right up to that spot on stage. Um, and then as soon as they announced California, it's like, oh my gosh, I've never worked that hard for anything before in my life. And then I actually got it. It is such an indescribable feeling. And you're on such a natural high of just pure elation. You know, you work so hard for something and then it's yours. And you're like, no! USA. <laughs> so it's it's so cool to replay that over and, and over again in your mind. It never gets old. Never. Oh, Ali Landry, hands down. I mean, I had been watching pageants ever since I was a little girl. Mom and I were always judges. We always got the sheets out. You know, as they would introduce the girls, we would start our scoring process, whether it was um, Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, Miss America, um, Miss Universe. We watched them all. We taped them all. Um, so Ali Landry was my like pageant um, idol. And I got to meet her when I competed at Miss Teen USA because she was one of the commentators for the show. And as Miss USA, you get to meet a lot of really cool celebrities and a lot of people. Um, but she's the only person I've ever cried when I met. <laughs> I was totally that girl. I was 16. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Ellie Landry. And um, she was so nice to me. And I'll never forget that because as a former Miss USA, to be nice to a lowly, you know, Miss North Carolina Teen USA at the time, that really had a huge impact on me. So when I was then in that role, you know, I knew how important it was to build those relationships with the girls. What famous person does your personality most parallel? <laughs> um, I love that. I think I'm going to change my answer because I'm a different person than I was. Um, you know, a few years ago, um, I would say to date my, I, I would go along a different genre of like a, um, like a Carrie Underwood, Taylor Swift type person. Um, I am very strong in my faith now. Um, when I wasn't, when I was in my early twenties, gosh, that sounds so weird to say I'm in my late twenties now. Um, but in my early twenties, I wasn't as close to God as I am now. So first off, that is that's the most important thing. So a celebrity like Taylor Swift or Carrie Underwood, I would definitely, definitely be, be more apt to parallel because I keep my faith first and foremost, and that drives all of my actions and reactions to things. And um, I just put my family and, and things that are near and dear to my heart first and foremost. Now. Spoon Frog. In this challenge, our six remaining beauties will use a modern-day culinary catapult, the teaspoon, to launch a teaspoon into a waiting glass. Warning, do not attempt this challenge at the dinner table while mom is watching. The last beauty to complete this task will be eliminated. Look at that! Japan's got it! Japan's got it! It's Tennessee and Carolina! something. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. You did an awesome job. Quite the competitor. And good luck with the baby. Thank you. One more time. Your challenge begins in three, two, one. Money. That was at like two seconds, maybe. See, I can totally do it. And when we did the time trials the day before, I was killing it. I was killing everybody. So... There you go. I want to read it. I'll admit it to win it. I win it all. Okay. I'm going to have to say Carolina because I was always a Carolina fan. But I live in Wilmington now. And Wilmington is UNCW Seahawk territory. And I married into that because my husband played there before he got drafted. So I had to kind of like push all of my Carolina stuff aside. And now we leave Teal. I mean, we named our dog after the baseball stadium. Our daughter is named after a really popular garden here in Wilmington where we got married. Um, so I, I've kind of converted a little bit. So I'm going to say Seahawk basketball. Carolina used to be my favorite. And now I'm, I'm a Seahawk girl. I'm president of Standout Productions, and it has been <laughs> such a passionate um, endeavor for me. One I never thought I would do, 
do. Um, but when the opportunity came up to work in this industry, I thought, why not? I am a pageant girl. I'm proud of being a pageant girl. And I love everything that it has to offer, especially, you know, being a former Miss USA. Pageants allow young women to develop into them be their best selves so that they can be physically, mentally, and emotionally fit to help others. And that's what being Miss USA did for me. And if I can even have like a small help in, in seeing other girls reach their goals, whether they win or not, whether they become Miss USA or not, that is such a gratifying process. And it helps them in everything that they do in their life. Um, so being president of Stanout Productions and everything that we have going on um, has been hugely rewarding.